Welcome to the office. Denise, welcome to the office. Thank you. You're coming from Ontario. Ontario, yes. Ontario, Canada. Canada, yes. Why do you have to come all the way from Ontario to come see me? I've been going to the chiropractor since I was 20. Okay. And like last year? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 30 plus years. Okay. Um, and... For what? Like, what's going on? It was just always, it's transitioned to different periods over over the time. Okay. Um, there was a period where um, it would seize up, so I couldn't even get out of bed. We're talking about your low back. Yeah, that was my low back. That was your yeah. number one issue back then. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and then now it's just constant. In the past I'd say three or four years, it's just constant cramping. In and your low back. In low back, and it actually feels <coughs> like... For a while, like it just felt like I had muscle cramps. So I went to like I tried network spinal analysis. I tried like chiropractors, and massage, and physio, all with different. Did you like, go to your GP? Yeah. What is and it? they sent me to a surgeon. For what? Uh, just to get a referral. And oh. For PT. No. A referral uh, for what? For back surgery, and this was just recently, and so I had a phone consult, and he said that he he would recommend fusing L three, four, and five. So I'm like, mm, no, wow, we're not doing that's that. a little yeah, drastic. That is, huh? yeah. I thought okay. so too. Well, we need to figure out what's going on over there. Mm -hmm. And fusing L3, 4, 5 is going to do what? Mm -mm. Mm. Yeah, he said maybe an 80% chance of you know, getting you some mobility or not having pain. Mm. Okay. No. All right. And that's why you decided to come down. Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. Mm -hmm. And there's nobody there that was able to help you? Um, there is times. a couple of Gonstead practitioners that I came across on the website, but what? I was watching you. You set the bar high. Like I'm telling you, you set the bar high. <laughs> Nobody else. There are a lot of great guys out there. Oh, I'm sure. I couldn't They're find really any up. in Ontario. Okay. But. okay, so number one is the back. Number two? I would say neck. Yeah. Stiff, definitely. shooting pains, radiating um, pains? Stiff, headaches, um, usually my whole like back there it pinches like it it seizes up quite often okay um, yeah it's just sometimes I don't yeah there's a, usually it pinches here um, just a pinch though yeah okay well no it's a big pinch and then there's even my extremities my elbows my wrists my ankles I've had sprained ankles a few times okay from ball and stuff so, it's so just number one back pain. number two neck number three is extremities mm -hmm. Fair enough. How's your digestion? Um, yeah, I think You're I have careful. acid reflux. Okay. Yeah. We definitely need to talk about the digestion as well. Mm -hmm. It's all part of your balance. Yeah. Okay. This is you. This is a picture in time. Tells us how you've evolved from birth. 24 bones in the spine that move, 23 discs in between. This is looking at you from behind. This is looking at you from the side. And you're telling me that you there you were suggested to get five, four, and three fused. So let's take a look at that and see what the heck is going on. Well, you definitely got some stuff going on here at five. You have a lot of scar tissue. I can't even see through that thing right now. Okay, four. You have a spondy. They told you spondy. Mm -hmm. They told you right, L four spondy. Mm -hmm. Don't really know what that. Oh, oh, where it's protruding. Or... It's going forward. Yeah. So they want to fuse three, four, and five to the sacrum or just to each other? Each other, I think. And they don't want to mess with the tailbone? Mm. No. Okay. So, all right. Well, here's the way I, I'm looking at it right now before we get deep into this, okay? The idea is this. This thing is going to fuse naturally anyway. So the way I look at it is... Is it in proper alignment? Do we have a level base and foundation so that nature can take its course? However, if these two fuse naturally, we still have a spondy there. Mm -hmm. So we got to push this whole thing forward. This is going to be spicy. I hate when you say that. What's that? <laughs> I hate when you say that. Well, you want I mean, it's up no, to you. I know. It's it's gonna, I'm just letting you know. It's going to be a little spicy, yeah, okay? Yeah. All right. You got anyone you got to say hi to? <laughs> All right. These, but the L3 disc is good. L3 is tilting. L4 is tilting. 
but the discs are good. Okay, the discs uh, start to wear out a little bit. That's trying to fuse together. That's trying, it got a little calcification a little bit, but your discs are still good. Discs are good. This was an old whiplash. It's trying to hook in the back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, we'll get back to that. Let's talk about why, right? And let's look at the foundation. Sure, we can see it kinks to the left, kinks to the right, right? We can see that. We can also see that this area is trying to fuse because of the instability that you've had so long, okay? So our job is to figure out how we're going to get you in balance. And we need to look at this foundation. Digestion is off quite a bit. You have a lot of undigested Gosh. food. And I did just have something to eat. Before. That's not, no, sorry, 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 sorry. Nice try. But I'll tell you what's screaming at me right now. You know what's screaming at me right now? Right there. And they say there's no remnant disc that can swell. They say they're all fused bones. What is, I, what is that? That's down in your S5 coccyx. Mm -hmm. That looks like a swollen disc to me. Let's go over here and see. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. That's there. S5 sacral. Okay, let's go back here. Now, when I look at your foundation, first thing I see is what? I see a little bit of tilting in the pelvis, right? A little bit of tilting. Your SI joints are great. I can see through it right here beautifully. I can see through here. A little scar tissue there, but I can see through them. Your injury that happened in your L5 disc was like 30, 35 years ago. Wow, that was a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And I don't think uh, your thing, your your foundation was balanced for that to hold. I remember having a tailbone injury. You did, in right? Mid-teens, yeah. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. And you can see all this whitening of the bone. That's enumeration. That's because <clears throat> bone grows according to demand placed on it. There's a lot of demand on your low back, so it try to it's strengthening, mm -hmm. right? Body's smart. Your hips are good. I'm surprised that these are actually good. Because they hurt so much. It's okay about yeah. pain, but mm -hmm. they're good. Yeah. They're, you have good joint space in them. Well, that's okay, good. so that I'm happy about. Now let's look at the numbers and see what they mean. All right. So first thing we see is we have a dropped five millimeter measure difference on the left side. We have a rotated sacrum on the left with a uh, rotated pelvis or a misaligned, uneven pelvis. And let me explain what that is. This is your SI joint on the left side. Mm -hmm. The left pelvis, or ilium, it goes down four, sacrum goes back four with it, and then the whole thing goes down five. That's the imbalance, okay? The good news is this. Number one, the MD, or the measure difference, is under seven, so it's Regardless of intervention or regardless of adjustments or not, adjustments should hold mm, under good. seven. The other good news is if we get this up or if it happens to be this one and we have to bring it down, we can get it to three so we can actually help it up a little bit. Okay. The rotated sacrum is going to be the issue. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when I look at this, I see it starting right there. Do you see how that line is level with mm -hmm. that? right there and that's what started the drop that tailbone injury so we have a rotated sacrum on the side of a rotated pelvis after the basement and all that is sorted out then we got to look at the first floor and you may be getting that first floor worked out in Toronto I don't know mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. if we get to it hopefully we do it's gonna be spicy Okay, five goes off four, all of this goes with it. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. So the five is throwing all of those off. Now let's go back here. <clears throat> five is throwing it all off to where? So five is off. And let's look at the sacral. Now if I just take this sacral, uh, sacral line, and go up, it's really easy for us to find where it levels off. And it goes all the way to there. So everything from 
5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 12, 11, 10. All of this is compensation. We don't need to mess with that. But when we look at 9, we can see what? We can see that that's where your arthritic changes are happening, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure I'm not tripping, dude. Yeah, no, that's it. And then we got to work on that one because that's starting to curve. And you see the indentations mm -hmm. in Cali? Mm -hmm. You play hard. That's, but that's the way the bones have developed. That's just what it is, okay? And it just tells me kind of the lifestyle you've gone through. One, two, three, four, five, six. Digestion is going to start here. We have a side slip here as well. We have a T1 side slip, T2, T3, even a T4. So you got Jenga going on in the upper back. This is your heart and lungs. Just give me a new body. Okay, well, why don't we... We don't need a new body. You're already working on your mind and soul, right? Yes, yeah. Let's get you in balance so that you can work on your mind and yeah, soul. Yeah. Sound good? Mm -hmm. Jokes aside. Though. Yeah, yeah. When we look at your upper, oh no, there's still more jokes, sorry. There's <laughs> two is trying to fuse there to one. Dude, you played hard, yo. You played pretty hard. It's Canadian. Not anymore. It's Canadian ladies, I tell you, they tough. I didn't play hockey. No hockey. Not even, you played street hockey, I know you did. Actually, that's, yes, I did. I, I know played you street played. hockey with the boys yes. on, on the street when I'm, I was I'm young. I'm sure yeah. you did. We have a right TMJ issue as well potential left, but all of that is secondary. We have an upper cervical, T4, all right, so let's put this together. We have, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. left atlas, we have T4, we have something at around T8, T7 area, L5, and the foundation. Just a few things. Mm -hmm. Okay? Sure. And then as I go through the process, watch you walk, we'll figure out where we're going to start on your extremities. Mm -hmm. I would not work on the knees today for sure. <clears throat> Shoulders I can work on. Elbows, I know you're complaining you're mm -hmm. not getting the full extension. Yeah. Power That's comes crazy. from the base of the neck. So let's get mm -hmm. the power on first today. That's mm -hmm. number one. I may start and bump the ankles lightly just to get them going, just mm -hmm. to get the movement easier for you. And then we'll figure out in the next visit or two what we need to do to be a little more uh, involved. Yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> For lack of a better term. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense, ma'am? Yes. Shall we get started? Yes. Let's do it. So you're absolutely right. We need to go over the neck. And I said the discs were all good. We talked about the curvature down here in the spondy and the discs here being all good, but we failed to talk about this. My bad, now we have to go continue. So you're starting to develop the reverse curve from whatever happened here. I did flexion extension studies to get some more answers. <clears throat> in extension, that's a normal curve, but when you go in extension, it hurts because mm -hmm. it's pinching at yeah, C2. It pin well, it was pinching all the way down to my back. Okay, and here in flexion, but here's the thing, in flexion, they all opened up. So the answer is not in your neck. There may be something there, but they all move. Mm -hmm. So I don't see anything stuck, really stuck there. I see a lot of this as compensation. Okay? That was actually good. Thank you for reminding me. So in this position, it looks like there could be a C6 there, but in flexion it moves, in extension it moves. So it doesn't make sense to be messing with that right now. Something might show up along the way, and we'll deal with it as it comes up, right? Mm -hmm. Cool? Mm -hmm. Shall we? Yeah. Let's get started. What's that? Uh, two dolphins in yin and yang. Nice. So let's look at her overall. You can see this. Why is there such a, a dent there? Because your spine, your mechanics and your spine is off. It's mm -hmm. not supposed to be like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look. All of a sudden you see left side lower, right side higher. The crease goes in pretty sharp and then it comes out right away. Remember I was telling you up to like T8? That's all compensation for this. And then as we get to here, it starts to veer to the side. And if we look at her head, we can see the ears are slightly off balance. I'm pointing out all the fun stuff, okay? Yeah, Walk for me, please. Walk to the corner of the room and back several times. The dolphins aren't moving. They're supposed to move. They're stuck. So you can see she kind of just sways when she walks side to side. I feel like sometimes, like I almost trip over 
Like if, I, if I'm tired, my right foot will get a little lazy. Okay. And I end up tripping. Now, you were talking about reflux. Mm -hmm. When I bend over normally. Can you walk in, please? I'm sure there's something I'm going to give you for your digestion, but I'm not doing it first one or two adjustments. Let's see how your body sure. responds first, mm -hmm. okay, without adding anything to mm -hmm. it. And she swings that, so she plants her left foot, she swings that right foot when you walk. Mm -hmm. I want you to be mindful of your walking right now, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Have a seat, let's get started. Starting at the base of the neck. I'm not getting a lot of action up there right now. Even though your neck hurts, right? Mm -hmm. I'm getting it there, T4. Maybe lower. No kidding. Now what I'm going to do is tilt it. We've got to bring out that hot nerve. Dr. Gonsad used to talk about bring out that hot nerve. There it is. You've got to tilt it a bit. There it is. Left C1 oxy. There it is. T4, T5. That's later, guys, for you to learn, not right now. Bring it out, bring it out. Call that nerve out, bring it out, bring it out, bring it out. There it is. Good. It's a break, but it's still hot. That was sharp. That was interesting. Her spine is a good for a scoping class. <laughs> there it is. L2, L3. But she got that spondy. Yeah. Right there, left side. Spondy L2, T4, T5, and up left side C1 oxy. Let's take a look and check the hips out. Feet together. Scoot forward so your feet are touching, please, ma'am. Open and close the knees with the feet touching. Open and close. Right side only, please. When she does the right, the whole left wants to move. Left side only, please. When she does the left, the right is fine. This is the left SI joint like we showed you on the x-ray, okay? Scoot back for me, please. Now let's do static palpation. Head down, round your back. Now static palpation. Just from scoping and touching, she's all red. This is the hyperemic response. One is dehydration, two is thiamine. You drink enough water? I'm try. Means no. One, two, three. I usually do. I carry a water bottle. Ah. ah! More there? Ah. Five. Yeah. Starting at five, guys. I have a shock right for sure. And that, your liver, gallbladder, mm -hmm. solar plexus. Mm -hmm. But it's all starting down into root, lady. Back towards me. Check this out. Now, this is five. This is four. This is three. Yes? Tender? Yes. Yes. So this is kind of important. If we got to do an L4 spondy, how the hell are we going to do an L4 spondy? That's three. That's four is anterior. Five is back. S1. We're going to have to start down there. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. S2 spondy. So it's an S3. Oh. Yes? Okay. S4. Yes? S5, not so bad. S4, S3, definitely there though. Yes, ma'am? Yeah. Well, wait, till you tell, wait till I tell you what I need to do. One, two, three, four. <laughs> You're Canadian, you can take it. Right there. Five, we're not messing with L2, 3 today. We gotta focus on that spondy. Slide forward, please. 
slide back towards me. And let's do the neck. Let's check the neck. Six, five, four, three, two. Turn to the left, that ain't moving. Turn to the right, that moves better. Look up, that's isolating the lower cervical. Turn left, turn right. Down. That's to the right? Yeah, pinches. Okay, pinches on the right or the left? Pinches here. Okay, let's try that again then. Up, slow down. That's still pinches. It's pinching. But when I go down, that thing don't move. Okay. Game plan. <sighs> Game just, plan. I'm just gonna laugh because that's all I can do. All right. No, so good. for this L4 type spondy, we gotta take sacrum five, all of it underneath. They're like, yeah, right, sure, yes. We gotta take the whole thing and bring it underneath. Okay. That's number one. Number two is we need to work on T5. T1, 2, 3, 4, T5 as a PRS. It's starting at 5. And then the atlas is an ASL. Huh. Fun times, guys, fun times. How is the curvature of my spine on the side? Your curves? Yeah. In terms of your posture? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good question. So in terms of your posture, this is where you need to be. Your upper body is a slightly behind the foundation. Mm -hmm. It's not too bad though. Mm -hmm. Okay? It could be a little more forward if we can get a little more curve. Mm -hmm. But we have to be mindful of the little more curve because we need to make sure this is stabilized. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be our challenge. If we can get that five and sacrum four a little bit, you're going to get a little more curve. I get that, that crease in the back starts to get less. And I think we're going to set that atlas on the side first here. I didn't want to do it in the chair. Slide up, please. Turn your head to the left, the other way. The other left. Turn your butt towards me a little bit. Turn. There you go. Left hand here. Up. Oh. Right mm -hmm. there. Relax it there. Is that okay for mm -hmm. you? Yes. Yeah, so. That's a piece. Head down, please. You know what? That was too bouncy. Come over here. Ah. Back over here, please. You had a lot of cracking down. So Lee's just trying to bring her back. Her ne neck naturally wants to jut forward. Wow. Drop it. Nope. You okay? Mm-hmm. Tiny bit. Posterior. That thing is stuck. That's it. Okay. Come on. Face down over here. Let's go back over here. Face down. Let's bounce you. Shasha! <laughs> Shasha! One, two, three. That's the whole <laughs> Come on over, Shasha. Let's get a little more there. There you go. Oh, gotcha. Come. Okay, you got her, Shasha? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to start the spondy here. And I'm going to be down on the dolphins, on the tail of the dolphin. And we're going to do it in a way. We've got to scoop the whole thing. Okay, and we've got to scoop it underneath. Slide up, please, ma'am. <clears throat> I'm going to 
receive. Just like that, okay? Yep. Oh. That's the home run. Got you. Thank you, Shasha. You did, you did amazing. Can I bring you up? Now, why don't you walk about four, five, six times, just get movement, especially after that spawning. Have you had an adjustment like that before? Um, oof, to see. Um, I can't remember. Not on the table like that. No. Um, on the knee chest table? One of those? The torture table? No. <laughs> you never got on the torture table? I have not. Have oh, you're going to have the honor. Don't worry before you leave. That's where we get the, the last and final mm -hmm. piece. Great. Okay. Great. So you haven't had that adjustment. That one. Maybe not. Turn when you open the back and see. Keep walking. Hey, we got a little tinkle in the dolphin now. All right. Keep walking, please. Keep walking. Keep walking. Anything different as you're walking right now? Um, yeah, it actually it feels like there's a little bit more movement. Okay. Less pinching. I'm talking about the low back. Have a seat. And let's check the range of motion of the neck without really touching the base. Go ahead and look to the left. There you go. Mm -hmm. Huh. Yeah, that feels... Look to the right. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look to the left. Look straight. Look up. Up and left. Up and right. Just a little pinching there. Less pinching? Same. Uh, it seems like it's higher up rather than down here. It's kind of like in okay. here. Let's check the low and let's scope you out. That's where we're going to start now. Starting at the base. Neck is clear. Doo doo. We got heat, but five is clear. Three is clear. Good. I'm glad I didn't have to touch that one. At least for today. Check it out. Back slowly towards me. Check it out. Yes. Yeah. This is five. Mm -hmm. This is four. Five. Mm -hmm. S1, S2. Yeah, big difference. Different. Mm -hmm. Three. And there's still like the pinching when that's it okay. doesn't. Yeah. It's less. Mm -hmm. Doesn't feel like I'm being stabbed in the back with your finger. Oh no? No. Well, I was. I I, I used a different nail. Oh, okay. I'm joking. <laughs> okay.
Let's continue. I will work on the shoulders today. Okay. Let me have the arm. There you go. There you go. On your back, please. I'm just starting it. I'm not going. Mm -hmm. Clover City is the best place to live in L.A. Oh, is it? It is. <laughs> we got everything there. Mm. Lots of nice restaurants, too. Okay, sit up and turn and let's buff out the back. The buff and the boy. You'll notice when I go over certain areas, it's got a little more tickly spice to it. That's scar tissue. You may get pops and cracks in your spine, crackles in your spine you didn't have. It's a good thing. Okay. Especially in this part here, okay? Come here and check this out. How do you say this? You don't move. Am I, uh, am I hallucinating a little bit? I want to compare it to the before. Looks a little different already to me, but I'm just okay. making sure it's not the sun. The indent? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Questions for today? Uh, ice or heat or? Yes. Ice, the areas I adjusted. Water, walking, and ice. Okay. Drinking your weight, half ounces. Okay, half mm -hmm. your weight in ounces. Ice in the areas that I adjusted, getting 10,000 steps in. You don't need any other variables. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you eat decent, decent, try decent. to, we're going to give you a list of an anti-inflammatory foods, stick to that. Mm -hmm. I don't tell you how you're going to eat them, that's up to you. Yeah. Okay. And we have enough yeah. options, especially in Clover City, West mm -hmm. LA, we have a lot of great options for food. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Airbnb or hotel? Airbnb. Okay. Cool. All mm -hmm. right. So you're in a good place, nice, yeah. safe place. Yep. Okay. okay. Good. And uh, along the way, I want you to let me know any changes. There's no good or bad right now. Mm -hmm. It's what's different. Okay. Not it still hurts. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, this is different. Hey, this is more. Hey, this is less. Hey, the, whatever mm -hmm. it is. Mm -hmm. Now I'm feeling this. Now I'm walking. Hey, I can check it out. Walk. I want you to see how do your feet feel when you walk now. Oh, nice. Yeah. Different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The shock is over now, right? I, I like to creep up on people and scare people. Okay. But I never could. Okay. Because I'd be like, creak, creak, creak. And now <laughs> maybe you can. I know. I like yeah. it. Yeah. I sprayed my finger last week. So Squeeze. Good. The possible anterior. <sighs> We're going to have to x ray this, okay? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling, it feels like a big old calcified cyst or something in here. Mm. You feel that? Mm -hmm. That's a tight little bone. Oh. You don't have it here. Okay, let's try something else though. I can try this. Ah, let's try the magic. The Green Lantern, somebody called this. Spicy here. Where is it spicy? Uh, in there. On the outside yeah. or the inside? Well, where you were pushing before, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. So an anterior radial head can cause that, but that would have had to be a severe trauma. Ben? is good on that side. Tender in there? Mm -hmm. That's a lateral humerus. Huh. You got all kinds of fun I stuff. Know. Turn. Turn. Turn your body towards me this way. Oh. 
Uh, actually, you may want to see it over here. I'm doing a lateral humerus. And I'm going to do it with the outside hand first. And I'm setting the humerus up to the, on the lateral side, to the ulna. That's a piece. A little more. That's it. That's it. scar tissue. Mm -hmm. I remember, I think, when it happened. Mm -hmm. I remember waking up and from a big ski day and I can barely lift my Hold head. Hold your wrist yeah. with your other hand. Hold it. Bend it. old videos. Oh, I that far. Okay, so we're doing the PIP. I'm using the board because it's quicker and less painful. Good? Mm-hmm. Ben. There you go. What the? Voila. That's magic. <laughs> Squeeze. Good, drink lots of water. And Walk and enjoy stuff. your time here. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the office. All right.